just imagine for a whole month you dreamt of witches back to back to back you will be scared you will be worried you would want to share this with someone to find a way out why do you think it is ever okay to represent a witch or death you know with skulls and skeletons why do you think it is just okay to be spooky no you're actually portraying something you're casting out a spirit of fear it's so much demonic rituals being carried out so much initiation why on earth would you want to tag along with this you may say oh I'm not a part of the blood shedding or the initiation the people who originated the celebration they're telling you this is what they do so boldly they're not even hiding it they clearly tell you that this is what Halloween is about and this is the season that opens up that portal that is why you need to be careful as a parent it's not just fun and games we see the truth of all of this in the scripture if you believe God the Father in heaven is a spirit and you serve and worship him, there is a devil who is a spirit and he is causing men to be blindfolded so that they can serve and worship him. Just everything dark. Spiders, ghosts, witches, death. And a lot of Christians are wondering, should I celebrate Halloween? Now we're going to be looking into the scripture to answer this very basic question. The Bible says that you are the light of the world. And Halloween, if you ask me, seems to represent darkness. It seems to represent the opposite of what you should carry. It's not just cool. It's not just what everybody does at this time of the year. You should ask yourself, should I partake in this? Should my children partake in this? How are you the light if you're standing for darkness? Even if it is just one day of the year, you must be the light every day of the year. And I pray that the Lord would give you grace that you need to do just that. Amen. You know, even when we have dreams where we're constantly seeing spiders, we're constantly seeing, you know, witches. Just imagine for a whole month, you dreamt of witches back to back to back. You will be scared. You will be worried. You would want to share this with someone to find a way out. Why do you think it is ever okay to represent a witch or death? You know, with skulls and skeletons, why do you think it is just okay to be spooky? No, you're actually portraying something. You're casting out a spirit of fear. You are. It is not just cool and funny and interesting and just for fun. No, you should think deeper than that. You should think much deeper. The devil we're up against is very cunning. To be cunning means to be deceptive, right? To be very deceptive so he uses even the things we do not think he would ever use he uses fun and entertainment and pleasure just anything that makes you feel good in yourself that is what he uses to trap a lot of us so we need to be at alert we need to watch and pray the message is simple you should boldly represent the kingdom you come from and that is the message of the gospel you should boldly represent the kingdom of god the bible says that we are in the earth but we are not of this earth do you represent the kingdom in everything you do now if your answer to that is yes you should not my friend be celebrating halloween because that does not represent the kingdom and for those who would come on here saying oh, oh you're you're taking this too deep it's not that serious it's just it no no if it were so obvious and so serious do you think the devil would use it as a trick he uses little things that we do not believe he would ever use that is where he gets the most of us. So you should not struggle to fit into the world. The idea is not for you to fit in. The idea is for you to stand out with your own ideologies, using the Bible as your reference point. The idea is for you to shine the glory of Christ on earth. That is the whole plan. Not for you to fit in, not for the world to accept you as one of theirs. God forbid. You would never be a part of the world, even though you live in the world in Jesus name. And for those who are wondering, can we go trick-or-treating maybe with the church, uh, just wear fun costumes and no, no, because you're confusing other people. You must take a stance. Remember that this spiritual thing we're talking about is a battle between two kingdoms. So you must be very cautious. You must make sure that every step you take represents your own kingdom. So don't just go out there and say, oh, but ours is clean fun. Some people call it Jesus win or something like that. No, you must pick a side. You're not called to be complacent. No, you're not called to just allow others to, yeah, everyone can just be fluid and decide what they want. The word of God, remember, is your standard and should decide what you do and what you want. The founder of the Church of Satan actually said he is very glad. A lot of Christians celebrate Satan one day of the year and they let their children do same. Can you just imagine? Why on earth would anyone 
want to do that. Any Christian wants to celebrate Satan. In your right mind, you will never do that. But the enemy has disguised in many different forms today and we find ourselves actually celebrating him and it makes his kingdom proud. But today, we need to open our eyes to be cautious and to actually cut off. Your allegiance should be to God only. You should only pledge to God in heaven, to no one else consciously or unconsciously ask the holy spirit to flow so much through you that even in your unconscious state you are played in the blood of jesus you find yourself in your dream you're casting out demons and you are pleading the blood of jesus he can do it through you both consciously and unconsciously on that day there is so much shedding of blood so much incantations being made it's so much demonic rituals being carried out so much initiation why on earth would you want to tag along with this you may say oh i'm not a part of the blood shedding or the initiation the people who originated the celebration they're telling you this is what they do so boldly they're not even hiding it they clearly tell you that this is what halloween is about so don't take a part in any of it you must just you know Put the mark on your door. Remember the book of Exodus? When I see the blood, I will pass over. Plead the blood of Jesus over your life, over your home, over your children. Remember to warn your children. They have to be very, very careful. They're young, they're innocent, they're gullible. But in this season, incantation is on a high. Initiations are on a high. And your child begins to say to you, Oh, mom, I had a dream and I was flying. I was in the waters. I was having conversations in the air. And you may think, oh, it's coming just from the cartoons you're watching, but they may just have been initiated. And this is the season that opens up that portal. That is why you need to be careful as a parent. It's not just fun and games. We see the truth of all of this in the scripture. If you believe God the Father in heaven is a spirit and you serve and worship him, there is a devil who is a spirit and he is causing men to be blindfolded so that they can serve and worship him. Every day of your life, you should seek to dispel darkness and not to represent it. You should seek to make sure that you are always against darkness. Any form of wolf in sheep clothing, any form of darkness in light clothing, you recognize it and you dispel it spend time on the word spend time with like-minded believers spend time in prayers just make sure that you guard yourself you guard your children you guard your home and your space for christ for the things of god right you need to be conscious about this this has to be the daily decisions that you make you should prioritize bible study to actually grow in the things of god to actually understand the kingdom you represent even better. And of course, you should share the good news of God. Jesus is coming very, very soon. Halloween is the devil coming like a thief in the night. For many, for many, they can actually not see this elephant in the room. They can actually not see how dark and evil this is. He has blindfolded the eyes of many and makes you think that this is okay, but it is actually not. You want to spend time in the world to better understand where the Lord wants you to be in this season. You want to check out this video right here just to help you grow your walk and your faith in God. Remember to like and share. Until I see you again, have a lovely, lovely day. Shalom.